It is time for our Friday feature creature. Scott Mitchell, the Erie Zoo, is joining us today. Uh, you brought one of our favorites. Yes. This this guy, he's the, the a big American bullfrog. He's an African bullfrog. African bullfrog. Yep. He's huge. He is enormous. Uh, he is the second largest of all frog species after the Goliath frog. And where are the Goliaths? They're also African species. Okay. So, um, but these guys are, he probably weighs four pounds, maybe five. Yeah. He's enormous. Oh, there now, he goes. He does have, he does have the ability to puff himself up if he's threatened. Okay. To make himself look even bigger. Yet. Okay. Um, they eat almost anything. They'll eat small lizards, they'll eat uh, small mammals, mice, and things like that. Really? Not just insects. Yeah, they'll, they'll eat just about anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> As you can tell, he wears it well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, dumb question here. Mm -hmm. uh, does this guy have teeth? He does. They have two, like, almost like fangs. Okay. Of, and they use those to hold females when they're uh, busy. Okay. And uh, they also use it to, to fight off other males. Okay. Well. I see he's turned his back on us now. Yes. He's showing uh, us his posterior he, side. Go this way. See yeah. Now, he <laughs> is, um, you can see he's very moist. They, they prefer moist uh, areas. Yeah. Although in Africa, when um, they go through a dry season, they can they can they call it estivate. It's similar to hibernate for up to two years. Really. And so they cover themselves in mucus, and then they do a shed. A skin will shed. Huh. And it hardens, and they can stay buried underground till the rain comes again, um, for an extended period of time. Interesting. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Interesting. No. Uh, now, before we've had some people come and, and and pick them up, but these are known for doing what? That's they, why we're they, leaving him right here in the he, glass they, terrarium. They, they directionally pee. Yes. And it's significant. It's a lot. Will you say lot. half a gallon? Like a half a gallon. Yes. Yeah, so a, yeah. we're leaving him right here. I'd rather not be hosed today. No, <laughs> we've experienced it before. Um, Emily brought him out and held him over a bucket, but sure enough, man, he went. He goes. And, and yeah. Goes, so we're playing goes. it safe today. Now you see, they have that. The color on, or that uh, kind of s s slick look, that slimy look. Yeah. Several species of frogs and toads have, they secrete substances which can be noxious or poisonous. Okay. Some e have a, a psychedelic uh, component to it. Oh my gosh. And people actually would, in Florida, would get stoned. Licking, <laughs> licking frogs. I want to know who the first guy did that was. You know? <laughs> Who's the first All right. One? Well, this guy's got it all going on. Of course, Zubu continues at the Erie Zoo. Um, and then you've got a bonus night. Monday night is last night, right? Night. Yep, you the bet. night before Halloween. Yep. And then what happens at the zoo? Then we start to kind of so wind things down mm -hmm. and, and wrap things up. We, we still open the month of November, so okay. we generally get some pretty nice days. Yeah, yeah, you can still come visit throughout November, but it is a, a, a different experience because some of the animals are being put away as the weather temperatures yep. drop down. Scott, it's always a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for bringing all this right. big guy in. AJ said it looks like him on any given Sunday watching football <laughs> <laughs> with all the snacks. We'll see you next time.